What's going on guys? I'm John. This is YJ Football. No. What's up guys, I'm Jono, and today I want to do a video that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, which is to take you through the journey of learning a skill. I wanted to do this because I've learned a few tricks over my time, but I haven't learned anything recently. So I've landed on a skill that I, I think will be quite cool to learn and hopefully not too hard. It's a specific type of akka shown here. So this video will take you through the methods I know and hopefully the ones that I'll learn on the way to try and land this akka. I need to be able to do it three times in a row to say that I've actually learned it and hopefully by the end of it I'll hopefully have some tips and a trick that I can share with you and help you learn it as well. So let's get started. Can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent Sweet, just finished work. Let's get into some training. It's becoming winter, it's getting a bit dark, but try getting a quick little uh, session. So, it's going to be the first day. Um, for the first guy, I'm just going to try for five minutes um, at the skill. First look at the video a couple times, but just give it a go. So it goes, roll, flip, roll, flip. So as you can see, I'm playing fetch more than practicing the skill in this first little training. This is too long just to try it. Oof. Okay. Sweet. So I've attempted it for roughly five minutes. Yeah, sort of, sort of got, sort of not got it anywhere really. I'm scared on my arm. Sweet day two. Um, doing it on my lunch break this time because it's a bit dark yesterday. Uh, we're gonna actually start doing some purposeful training today. So let's see how it goes. So the aim of today's training is to get a consistent flick up to the correct height and position next to my knee. This will involve adjusting the different elements until it looks and feels right. So, so. Sweet, so for focusing on that flick up, I actually get pretty close in a pretty short amount of time. Um, I think we're probably good enough to um, at least try and move on to the next part, which is hitting with the knee, as I already did a couple of times. Ooh, hit that a bit low. Another part of my training is to think about myself performing the trick. Imagining how my body will move to do it correctly. So we'll just add like three minutes for that. That's another thing, practice without the ball. So I'm gonna try that because my coordination from my knee to my foot doesn't seem to be great. So I'm gonna give it a few goes without the ball. Yeah, I've almost landed it. Please is all this one. Oh, it's not that pop that you want, eh? I think I'm rushing the kick. What's the time? Quarter two. Okay. We got five more goes, but then I can get back to work. Am I in front of you? So I'll oh, start five from now. Ah, oh, that was one bad one. Oh, not fast enough. Oh, oh. 
Sadly, I uh, can't train much more today. I've got to get back to work. I think the main thing in this trick is that flick up. If you get that flick up and that push out with your knee, you're pretty much sus. Wait for that truck to go by. Uh, car. Another thing is uh, my flexibility isn't great, so I can definitely feel my groin a bit. So I've got to just make sure I warm up before I do it next time as well. Sweet. Just a bit of a warm up. What's going on? Uh, so this is uh, day three. Um, one part of training is actually looking at how you do a skill. So because I'm recording it, I can actually re-watch what I've done. And it helps me compare it to uh, say like a tutorial or another a video of someone else doing it. Um, another thing is today I've got a bit of help from my dad who can maybe see something that I'm not seeing. So. When you're training for a new skill, do those two things, or if you, if you can do the two things, and it should help. After practicing the flick up by itself, today it just clicked for that a while. That's pretty much it. That was, I don't know how good it is, but it, not going to count this as my first one yes. because it went too far forward, and I want my first one to be perfect. If you think it was all good. Let me know in the comments. Sweet, I think I need a break. I could say I got it here, but just wait. That was that was pretty much it. It was like not exaggerated, but like that was it. Holy crap! I didn't even like it was too quick. I don't even know what, how I did it. <laughs> this one is my favorite, and I'm gonna say I landed oh my as it was as perfect as I could have got it. 19 minutes and one second. Oh my god, I figured it out. Okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. That was once. I, that, was, that was definitely one time. If I get it three times, I'm, I'm saying I've learned it. Oh, stop, stop, stop. You were so relaxed. I know, but I, I can't. I was, I was excited. I'm excited. I can't. That was so nice. It was so clean. Oh, okay, like this. Oh, I'll give another couple goes. That's pretty good. Yeah, to get. I think it makes me do a softer flick up. The next day. I want to be able to do it three times in a row. Oh. I said three times in a row, maybe five out of ten. Right. One? It's rough though. Oh, I'm at a 50% success rate so far. Oh, camera, camera, camera! That's definitely one. It's two! <laughs> Need this one more. Alright, maybe I'll take a break. We'll have another go after that. I got my 5 out of 10, but I still want to push for that 3 out of 3. It took me a little bit longer. Oh. Maybe a second. So after learning this trick, there are a couple things I picked up on the way, such as the position of the ball to my body, allowing the ball to approach at the correct angle, and also having the ball start with my leg fully out, providing that time for the flick up. Other things came with the training, the motion and speed of the flick up, the speed of my knee, and finally the timing of my foot. There are a few methods I use to help me learn the skill, and I hope they can help you too. If you want us to make a short tutorial on this, let us know. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. We're done.